Hello guys, welcome to another video with Cass on the Mizuma channel. So today guys, I want to show you how to build a very simple tree farm that works in Minecraft 1.13, 1.13.1. And a uh, short backstory, uh, a few days ago or maybe a week ago, ImpulseSV posted a tweet asking for a double extender stackable one. So I answered and I, I didn't know, but he wanted it for a tree farm. And with my design, I actually gave him something that wastes bone meal. So in order to redeem myself, I built this design and sent this as a response to him. And uh, now it's on Hermitcraft, yay! <laughs> so if you're watching this, man, thank you Impulse for giving me the chance to redeem myself from my sin. And now we have this really nice, uh, efficient, fast uh, farm that can deal with oak trees uh, nicely. Uh, burst trees perfectly and technically it works with jungle saplings as well but it's not as efficient for for jungle trees it's going to waste a lot of bone meal because uh, we limit the size of the, the tree growth in here and jungle trees usually want to grow much higher but uh, one of the advantages advantages of this design is that it's just a repeatable pattern and the complicated stuff is down here at the bottom and it's not even that complicated. So uh, if you want to modify the design to make it work uh, with jungle trees, feel free. Just keep in mind that if, if oak trees grow higher than this, uh, it's going to generate the, 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 the sprawling <laughs> uh, oak trees and that can break your farm. Well, it's mostly likely will, just like acacia will uh, in, a, in a smaller scale. All right, guys, so let me do a quick demonstration before we do the tutorial for this thing. So uh, you just need to hold uh, some saplings in your hand and step on top of this pressure plate. And bone mule is going to be here. They come from this chest in here that you can fill up whenever you need. And the saplings, every time you plant a tree, this dropper is going to give you back one sapling. It doesn't have any saplings at the moment. Maybe some are stuck here <laughs> uh, within the hoppers because there are hoppers underneath the, the carpets in here. Okay, so all you need to do is to plant the tree and it's going to grow automatically and the machine will basically, well, I get, I got punched in the face by this thing. <laughs> the machine is basically going to, pu uh, to push this block in here and destroy all the leaves that it can and then the saplings are going to return down here. So here we get apples in the case of oak trees as well as saplings. So we placed in one sapling and we got back two oak saplings uh, in return. So basically you can hold your mouse button here, but if you do so in order to produce uh, logs AFK, you better aim at that carpet back there. Uh, not, at the, not on the top of the, the, the carpet, but at the side of the, the carpet. Because if you don't do so, you will eventually find yourself, I, I don't want to get punched by this guy. So yeah, don't, don't get too much inside the farm, otherwise this guy is going to punch you. Um, okay, but back to the explanation. So if you don't do this, uh, you will uh, eventually click on one of the hoppers that are underneath the uh, the carpets and this will open an interface and then it's going to interrupt your AFK session. So this is how it works. Uh, I have a command block here to destroy the logs and I also have a command block to replant uh, the trees in there. So it's this one I think it's going to replant it with birch trees so we can see how birch trees grow. So I am going to turn on the farm down here it's it basically simulates me being being on top of the pressure plate and here is the auto planter so it, it will just place saplings for us so you guys can watch uh, how fast trees can grow inside uh, this little farm in here so yeah uh, one thing that was a little bit of a challenge is in 1.13 because of the way we move those blocks to break the the, the leaves uh, the size of the farm are going to work as item elevators Basically, <laughs> saplings are going to get inside the, uh, the, the pistons and move all the way up here. This is why, by the way, uh, I have this set up here. You see, I have blocks filling up the gaps everywhere. Uh, sorry for the like spikes, spikes, guys. My computer is not that good, trust me. <laughs> uh, and yeah, up here we have a way to flush the saplings back down. So most of the time when saplings come from, from the item elevators that form, they will uh, instantly go back uh, inside the farm by themselves, but sometimes they will stick around. <laughs> so I added an extra layer in here 
and removed one block in here, which is the, the original design they are sent to Impulse SV, because it makes it simpler. It also makes oak trees grow higher uh, at a higher frequency, if I am clear, or maybe not clear enough. Also, every block is important in here, so that saplings don't fly everywhere and, and you don't waste a lot of saplings. Even those uh, leaf blocks are important. They have to be player generated so that saplings don't get stuck in here. And even with all of that, sometimes saplings will fly uh, somewhere else, like you can see here. <laughs> There's a sapling in here. But the important thing that I focus mostly is having enough saplings to keep replanting and going AFK without problems. So it, it, this is exactly what this farm does. If you stay in here, let's check the dropper. It was empty before. We already have 48 dwarf trees. Uh, bird saplings in here that can be replanted guys so yeah this is the full demonstration all right so the total footprint you're going to need is 11 uh, in this direction by 8 in this direction so you also are going to build it uh, 11 high in total so two blocks are going to be beneath you and then all the nine blocks are going to be above you Okay, here where we have the brown uh, stained glass block, we have a very important piston, and this guy is going to be powered by a sequence like this. So, solid block, node block, and observer. And here there is a piston that's going to send this signal to another observer block. So, uh, here is where your input is going to be. So, it's going to bud this piston sticky piston with a redstone block and this guy is going to also power this other piston and here you need to have a upside down observer so if you can go underneath just do it but if you cannot you can just place a, a upside down observer and move it like so place another block and it is now in place right so here, we also have a observer facing up to power the dropper, to give you back the saplings. Another stick, sticky piston on the side. And this other sticky piston is also going to be powered, so it starts the sequence from the sides and from the top. So here in the middle is where you're going to place your most important block, which is where trees are going to grow. And then here, a observer facing up, and then the dropper followed by the dispenser. And here you place your last dropper where the saplings are going to be. And this is where the bone meal is going to be. So here you can have a solid block and then a comparator. And this is going to power this piston and you need a node block to update it. You also want to have an observer facing, uh, pointing towards this guy. So every time you plant a tree, this is going to power this guy as well as this other guy. So no problems there. Uh, and uh, you also want to have a uh, observer facing uh, this way. It's very important that the observer faces the same way as the comparator as a reference. If you invert it, it's going to break uh, the bottom of your line of double extenders. Time to place the hoppers. So what you want to do is you hold shift and aim at the dropper because uh, the dropper is the final destination for saplings. And you really want to make sure that every dropper is going towards uh, this guy in there and actually here under the comparator you also want to have a dropper facing this way so let's put back our comparator in here and on the side you can just go like this oh three more oh i can't click <laughs> three more hoppers so make sure to not have a hopper underneath the dispenser otherwise it's going to drain uh, your bone meal items and you don't want to you don't want to have that okay so all the saplings are going to end up inside this dropper and this is going to be fired by this observer underneath it uh, but keep in mind that especially if you use birch oak oak as well it's going to generate a lot of saplings for you so you might want to redirect one of those uh one of those hoppers like this one would be a good one uh to a furnace and use those as fuel so that you can you know, make better use of those because this is going to generate a lot of saplings, guys. I'm not kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, it is. Let's cover the sides for now, like this. 
Um, you can use whatever block you want. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. At this level, you can use uh, any block that you want. But in the in the higher levels, you need to use uh, blocks that that work for the tree. Ah, uh, and this is going to spit out this block. Okay, yeah, it's fixed. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, okay. Okay. Now all of the sides are built, but you also need a light source. Uh, this is a good place to have a light source. Or if you want to go full seamless, you can also have this underground because uh, hoppers are transparent blocks actually. So you can have uh, a, uh, a light source here, for instance, anywhere, as long as you don't block the way for those pistons to extend here uh, under the ground. And in what Minecraft 1.13, saplings can grow at floor level so this is why i have my carpets everywhere so you can use the carpets or you can also use slabs everywhere the advantage of this lab is that you can sit here uh, by the way this is where your input is going to be i forgot to mention <laughs> i can cover those sides as well if you sit on the pressure plate that we are going to put in here uh, you can aim at this lab and it's going to be much easier to plant your trees by aim at this lab. So as I mentioned before, you don't click on one of the hoppers and open their user interface. Okay, let's start wiring things up. So I destroyed this block by accident, so let's place it back. And here, you want to have just a line of blocks like this going all the way with... Oh, you can have uh, regular pistons here like so let's place the, the the pressure plate so this is your actual input uh, right where diagonal to this piston here so this is where everything starts <laughs> and here let's place our regular pistons in here and there and a line of rails like this you can use uh, the golden rails or the detector rails uh well not the detector rails the what are the activator rails yeah <laughs> that's what they're called Okay, so on top of those pistons, you want to have a alternating pattern of glass and uh, redstone blocks. So three of each. And two from these, you're going to have this other piston to send the blocks back down. And uh, where you see redstone blocks, you just place um, observer blocks and another observer block. And this is what goes in here and do the exact same thing for the other side. All right, so if everything is working for you, whenever you cause an update to this block, it's going to fire like this. So from this glass block, place six blocks, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then rails on top of everything, right? And on the, the four blocks at the this board or on the side here, you're going to place uh, observer blocks. And let's do this three more times. So solid blocks all around here, and there goes your rails. They are they should be all powered at this point. And then four observer blocks in here, and four observer blocks in here. And this is symmetric, so we're going to do the exact same on the opposite side again. Okay, this is what it looks like now. And let's take care of the double extender now. So we can place blocks in front of our observer blocks like this. And then we can extend a line such as this. And uh, on these blocks, we're going to actually replace uh, those with repeaters, just like so. The other side, you can do the same, except that on the other side, you're going to set those repeaters all to be on four ticks. And on the side where the repeaters are on four ticks, you also want to have uh, more. Um, observer blocks and then you can do something like this and place another line of repeaters all set on four ticks this is what it looks like and then once again more <laughs> uh, more observer blocks um, and on this side you just you can just have a line uh, like this well uh, this, is, this is a mistake actually uh, when you have the repeaters on one tick, you want them to connect to uh, node blocks. And on the other side, you can have just regular blocks. And uh, from those, you can place 
more observer blocks facing this way. And this is very important now. Uh, those blocks here, uh, none of those blocks like uh, on this area here have to be uh, log blocks or any wood related blocks. But this, these blocks in here, they have to be wood blocks. Okay, because uh, anything around a tree, the tree needs to detect them as being part of another tree or something, you know, so <laughs> those those can be logs or, you know, the, those, what are, what are they called, the stripped oak logs or anything like that. Okay, just don't place like concrete in here because uh, this will make your farm not work. Okay, this part is easy and fun. Uh, so place more solid blocks in here and we're going to start placing pistons, but first we need to kind of fill those gaps with uh, full blocks. It don't, they don't need to be uh, solid blocks, but they need to be full blocks. Otherwise, you're going to get saplings uh, inside these areas because as I mentioned before many times, those are going to act as item elevators and you're going to lose saplings if you don't do this. Okay, so I, I'm using glass so you can see everything better. Uh, and you can have glass in here as well, as well as in here. No, no, I cannot have glass in there. So for this area, you need to have logs. Yeah, logs in here. And you also need to have logs on this little corner in here. This is very important, very, very important. Uh, and more logs. And now we can start placing our pistons. So an entire roll of pistons in here, all the way up to the top. Those are going to be your double piston extenders. And you can basically <laughs> fill everything up the sides with pistons. This should be fun. Do the same for the other side. So now we can place logs all around here. Keep in mind those blocks, they need to be wood related. Uh, and there is something weird in here. If, if your trees grow too fast, Sometimes these blocks in here might be replaced with the tree you're planting. So if you're planting birch, planting birch, for instance, uh, those blocks might be replaced with birch. <laughs> but this is not a bug or anything. It's just that sometimes the trees grow too fast and this is not going to be a problem at all unless you care too much about uh, the decorative size or the decorative aspect of your farm. So this is how this is going to look for now. And this part is kind of optional. Uh, you can add another layer of blocks in here, just like this, and place more observers in here. Then have your sticky pistons in there. Make sure to, once again, fill up the gaps. I'm using glass in here, you don't have to. And in here, you can have uh, open fence gates in here, just to get rid of the saplings and also destroy the leaves uh, from oak trees that grow at this height. Okay, let's start the final steps. So you wanna place some glass blocks in here because they are full blocks and they're also not solid. You don't wanna have solid blocks in here because they're going to bud those pistons down here and it's not a good idea. <laughs> so here uh, is where your saplings are going to, to try to fly away. So you need to have control over this area. So place more glass. Uh, two blocks from this. Uh, mind the gap in here, so there is a gap here in the middle. You also need these uh, and I like to cover those corners as well. So cover everything with blocks, full blocks in here, just to be sure. You want to get the, the, the highest amount of saplings that you possibly can get out of this thing. So. Yeah, just cover these. Uh, have I covered these? Oh yeah, cover these gaps as well, guys. I forgot to mention, but those are important as well. So cover this. This one in the back is not so important. You actually don't need to cover this, but those in between there are important. Uh, and why am I, get, am I getting stuck in here? So let's fill up this once again. Okay, I can place more blocks in there. Or blocks in there. I don't think you need blocks in here, but you can, if something goes wrong, you can just place more blocks in here. Okay. Uh, we'll pl place more blocks in here just for statics. All right. Uh, and you also want to cover this because uh, this, well, this is where saplings go as well. Saplings will try to go in here. So you want to make sure that all the saplings 
are going to be inside your farm. So this is uh, for you to decide. This is decorative blocks here, for instance. Yeah, <laughs> this is ugly, but uh, it's just to show you. Uh, and you can cover also this two blocks in here. This is going to be your entrance. So leave a gap of two in here and you can cover those. Yeah, this first block in here. So this is the shape that the front side goes. Uh, and here at this height level, you also want to extend this with uh, glass blocks and you want to have leaves in this area so that your saplings don't get trapped on top of the logs. Uh, and finally, uh, if I have any hoppers here on me, uh, you want to grab a chest. And you need to connect your chest to this dropper in here. So you might want to extend this one more block to the side, maybe even more, maybe even to the side here. And then here is a place where you can have your chests. And this chest is going to be where you place your, uh, your bone meal, of course. And this is going to be your floor, so you can cover everything up like this. Add more to your decorative side of this. So let me let me spruce this up a little bit, and I will be back. All right, I made it look slightly better. So those are places where you can have item frames. So this is where your saplings are going to come from. This is where you place your bone meal. So let's place a little bit of bone meal in here that hopefully you have a farm for. And also, I think I made a, a little mistake in here. There is no piston in here. <laughs> this is a huge mistake. You want to place a uh, node block in here. And if you do so, you want to also make sure that the dirt block is down at ground level. So once you place, there is going to be no uh, bone meal inside the dispenser. So it's a good idea to fill up the dispenser as well. Uh, as, you, as you sit on the pressure plate, it's going to to fill up this thing but uh, it's better if you already have some inside okay so I'll, at this point our farm should be ready to test so let's get inside step on the pressure plate uh, be, be careful about this block this is going to punch you so aim at this lab hold your mouse button and three grows okay it's working properly so my last recommendation is to not have this thing anywhere near fire sources or lava or anything like that and yeah you're going to be happy with your new functional tree farm that works in minecraft 1.13 guys so if you like the video don't forget to leave a like click the like button you can also click on the little bell if you want to get notifications for my next videos and thank you very much for watching guys see you next time bye